The biggest struggle in my life so far, I think, has been the ability to not break away, not break away from friends that I should have broke off with a long time ago. I grew up in South Nashville, and around there, I mean, you got, you got the people that's there and nobody else. Those are the people that were around, and I just started hanging out with them, and we started just started simple things like playing basketball and hanging out, but as we got older, it progressed and it started getting worse. And I mean, for instance, we used to go steal car stereos, uh, go break in houses, steal stuff. I just kept running with them because I felt like they, they were down for me, whatever. Like, they were the people that were never gonna leave me. One day, my, my coach, he's a youth pastor here, and like, he slowly started bringing me every Wednesday. He just broke everything down to me about how God how about God knows what's going on? How about God cares about me and God loves me? And it was all going good for a while. So I went back to my friends that were doing the wrong thing. And I tried to get them to come to church. And they started coming to church a little bit, but then they was like, man, we ain't coming no more. And I was like, yeah, you right, man. We don't need to come no more. We ain't got nothing to do with this. But then all that changed when one day we decided to, we decided that it was like 12 o'clock on a Saturday afternoon that we decided that we were bored. So let's go break in the house. I forgot that I'm a star football player at Smyrna High School, and somebody's gonna see Brandon Hathaway running from my house. That night I came back, it was a detective sitting in my house, and my mama just started crying. She started crying and asked me, well, what did I do? And I couldn't sit there and lie to that man's face. I told him the truth and I told him everything. I was in, Ju I was in juvenile for two weeks over Christmas and uh, New Year's. The whole time when I was in juvenile, I was just realizing, man, I was like, I don't wanna be here my whole life. And the only thing I could fall back to was the Bible. It wasn't nobody there but God. I was starting to think, like, God really does. I feel, I feel like he knows me. I feel like he knows, like, the situations that I go through and, like, the struggles that I go through. Because every, every struggle that I've been through, it was in the Bible. Ever since I got out, I've become a changed man. I cut off the friends that I don't need to hang out with no more. 